Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome to this brand new video on parsing JSON with Swift 4 and Xcode 9. With Swift 4, Apple has released a new way to parse JSON, and it has made understanding API calls and getting data so much easier. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and get some country data, understand that data, and print it out. So there won't be any UI involved, but let's get started. First thing first, let me go ahead and show you where we're getting our data from. The link is over here, guys. It's called restcountries.eu slash rest slash v2 slash all. This is basically a database of all the different countries worldwide. It has a bunch of different information. We won't be using all of it, but we'll be using some of it. So go ahead and copy this URL. I'll go ahead and paste it in the description as well, but go ahead and use this um, URL and save it for later. So command C that, let's get back to our project. Now, first thing first guys, we need to go ahead and get the data from our project. So let's go back to our view controller.swift, open up view did load. Over here, we're gonna first create the URL. So var URL is equal to, in quotation marks, the URL I just copied. Restcountries.eu slash rest slash v2 slash all. I can go ahead and initialize it as a let since it's a constant. After that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and create a URL object. So let URL object is equal to URL and then pass in a string version of our URL like that. So now our URL object is part of the URL object passing in our string. And after that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and create a URL session. Using the session and passing our URL object, we'll be able to get the actual data or information from that URL. The way that works, guys, is we're gonna say URL session dot shared dot data task with URL. This is where we're gonna pass in your URL object. Again, you need the exclamation mark so that you tell um, Xcode, tell Apple that, hey, this link will work and we will get some data. And then after that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and open up these curly braces and pass in, in our normal brackets, three variables, data, comma, response, comma, error. These are three values that are gonna be returned inside of this sort of bracket function, all right? So URL session dot share dot data task with URL object. Again, curly braces, the normal brackets, data, response, error, in. Now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna create a do catch system. The way a do sort of try catch system works is Swift is gonna go ahead and try to execute some code in case a specific um, function or specific piece of code doesn't work, we'll go back to the catch. So in this scenario, we're gonna go ahead and say do, whoops, do this, otherwise catch this, okay? And what we're gonna try doing is whatever data we get, again, our data variable is gonna have the data from this URL. Whatever data we have, we're gonna go ahead and try to decode it using JSON decoder. Now, before we use JSON decoder, guys, we're gonna go ahead and create a structure. We need to store our response in a structure, okay? Going back to our data over here, every single country has a name, every single country has a capital, and every single country has a region. So what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna go ahead and create a structure with these three values, a name, a capital, and a region. The way you can do that, guys, is underneath import UI kit, go ahead and say struct country. Again, the type should be decodable. What decodable does is it allows the JSON decoder to store whatever data it gets into this format. So we're gonna say country decodable and pass in those three values, name, capital, region. So we're gonna say let name is going to be a string, let capital is going to be a string, and let region is going to be a string. If you're confused on what structures are, guys, I have a video on structures, definitely check that out. But for now, we have our country structure and we have made it type decodable. Now inside of our catch, or I'm sorry, instead of our do function over here, we're gonna go ahead and create sort of an array of different countries, of possible countries. So we're gonna go ahead and say var countries is equal to try JSON decoder, okay? JSON decoder dot decode. And then inside of this decode, guys, it takes in two sort of parameters. Type decodable.protocol from data. So basically in our type, it's asking for, hey, what should I format this data as? What is your structure? And in this scenario, guys, we're gonna pass in, it's gonna be an array of countries, all right? An array of country, and then go ahead and pass in self. So this basically tells, um, it basically tells the decoder that, hey, whatever data we get, pass in a data variable over here, Whatever data we get, guys, we're gonna try to pass it as an array of different countries. Every country should have a name, a capital, and a region. 
Now over here, it gives us an error. What is the error? It doesn't know if data is going to exist or not. That's where we're going to put an ex exclamation mark. Now, in case this try function doesn't work, okay, in case it errors out, something goes wrong, that's how we have a do catch system. So do this, try this out. If it doesn't work, catch something and print out, we got an error, okay? Otherwise, if this does work, guys, all we're going to do is for country in countries, we're going to go ahead and print out print country dot name. All right, fantastic. The last thing we have to do, guys, is we need to go ahead and resume our URL session. So we've created this session and it's fantastic. But by going and saying dot resume, this function will go ahead and resume the URL session in case it's suspended. So go ahead and save this, run this code. And now once our application runs, we should go ahead and see our sort of console filled with country names. All right, so here is our application. And fantastic, down below we have all the different countries that are in this data over here. Fantastic. We can now actually go ahead and make our print a bit more complicated. We can go ahead and say something like this, country name plus, um, let's go ahead and say colon, and then the capital is going to be country dot capital. All right, go ahead and save this, run this, and now we should get the country name and its capital. So basically guys, the way this code works is you create a structure in order or that fits the JSON data. So whatever JSON data you're trying to get in your application, you're going to look at it, understand the structure, get the things that you want. And then all you're going to do is call try JSON decoder dot decode, pass in your structure and then pass in the data from your URL session. All right. Very, very straightforward over here. We have the different countries and the capitals. Fantastic. Awesome job, guys. That was it for this lecture. In one single line of code, basically this line over here, you understood how to parse JSON in Swift 4 and Xcode 9. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.